Hey, hey, boys and girls, it's Bobby Riley from Arkansas Pro DJs and DJ Mastermind. Today, we're going to do a little bit of repairs on some equipment we have in our office. One of those being our Mackie SRM 450s. We had a tweeter go out the other night on one of our speakers, so we are actually going to sit down and replace the, di the high-end diaphragm inside of the speaker, and we're going to kind of document it for everybody here to see. This will kind of give you more of an idea if you own the Mackie SRM 450s of what you need to do to go in and make a real quick replacement of the tweeter. Okay guys, these are the speakers that we're talking about and one of the things that we're going to have to do today is we're going to have to go in and go through each and every one of the 16 screw holes in the system so that we can take it apart. Now, instead of documenting me actually taking screws out of this thing, we're going to go ahead and, and get all the screws out and then we're going to come back and we're going to open it up and let you see inside. Okay guys, <clears throat> okay guys, here's the Mackie SRM 450 already apart. As you can see, it just kind of slides back and forth together. Now, when you do this, inside of this crack there's going to be a little seam and I think I've got a vision of it right here. Make sure that you don't bust or crack this seam because this is what's going to help make sure that a lot of the airborne pollutants, so on and so forth, that usually would get inside of one of these speakers stay out. Now, sorry about the shakiness of the camera here, I'm trying to go ahead and open it up, but this is the inside of the Mackie 450. Okay, and what we're looking for is this little piece right here. Now, this looks like it takes hex screws, so we're going to scoot this back just a hair so I don't pull that any further. But this is the part that we're looking for right here. And as you can see, there's a black and a red side. To take these off, these are just push pins. Push down and slide it out. Now, I'll do this here in just a second when I stabilize this camera a little bit. Okay guys, we are back and as you can see I've got the camera a little bit more stable so I can use both hands. But what we're going to do is we're going to push in on this piece and as you can see that just slides right out of there. Okay, one of the biggest things about it is you'll notice that these are, one is red and one is black. If you actually look at the wire, you're going to notice there's a black stripe running down it. That stays to the black side. There's a hex nut inside of here, it looks to be about 1 16th. I'm going to have to grab my hex set and we'll finish taking these thing, this thing apart here in just a second. Okay guys, we're back. Um, the hex nuts in this one are 7 64ths. Um, so we're going to take these out real quick. It'll only take a couple of seconds. And in this speaker, I can tell this one's been replaced before because these are really, really loose. Um, somebody's been in this one before. We purchased this one used, but that just tells me that these, this has been replaced before. Now, we've already loosened the other one up. I'm going to reach right up here, and we're going to take this cover off. Now, once this cover comes off, you're going to actually be looking at the tweeter itself. This tweeter is really simple. Should just release just like this. And as you can see, the entire tweeter was damaged. That's not supposed to have a hole in it. So there's our problem with this speaker. Now, what we're going to do is we've got a brand new one. Right here. Fresh out of the package, we have a brand spanking new one that we're going to slip back up in here. Now, this is what the fresh one should look like. And these are actually very simple to slide in. You just set them, get them lined up, and give them a good push. And they'll sit right there. You don't have to do anything else. Take your cover, put your cover back on. And then replace your hex nuts. Rehook up your wires and we're good to go. But this is how you replace the tweeter inside of a Mackie 4 SRM 450. Simple, easy, quick, and it doesn't take any time at all. Guys, it's Bob. And there you have it, kiddies. The SRM 450 by Mackie. We tore it down, we opened it up, 
we pulled about 16 to 18 screws out of the bad boy to get it to open up. Once we got it opened up, we unhinged or unscrewed the high frequency driver cover so that we could get to the high frequency driver, removed it, and replaced it with a brand new one and put everything back together. Now, that Mac is back in service. What does this mean to you? Well, a friend of mine by the name of Todd Mitchum used to make the comment, use it. It's called the use it mentality. If you've got it in your office, find it, use it. Instead of turning around and running down the road to a repair shop, which is going to charge you $250 to $300 to do 30 minutes worth of repairs, which is what you just saw me do, use it. The driver, $35. Time, 30 minutes. Savings, $150 to $200 from what the repair shop would have charged me. Think about it, guys. If it's in your office and you're no longer using it, find a way to make use of it or sell it. Guys, this is Bobby Riley from Arkansas Pro DJs and DJ Mastermind. Wishing you all the best.